CompTIA Security Plus SY0-701 Practice Exam Questions 86 through 90 This video is part of our practice exam video series and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great. Let's begin. Question 86. A user attempts to access a secure website and the browser checks to ensure the digital certificate is still valid before establishing the connection. Which of the following is used to perform this real-time certificate validation? The answer is A. OCSP. OCSP, or Online Certificate Status Protocol, is used to check whether a digital certificate is still valid at the time it is presented. When a user accesses a secure website, the browser contacts an OCSP responder, which replies with the certificate status, be it valid, revoked, or unknown. This real-time check helps prevent users from trusting certificates that have been compromised or revoked. Question 87. A vendor sends a security bulletin to a company's analyst, advising that a BIOS update is available to resolve a known vulnerability. Which of the following types of vulnerabilities is the update intended to address? The answer is B. Firmware. Firmware is the low-level software programmed into hardware components like BIOS, UEFI, and embedded controllers. It controls the basic functions of hardware and operates independently of the operating system. Updating firmware, such as applying a BIOS or UEFI update, can fix security vulnerabilities, improve hardware compatibility, and add new features. Since firmware runs beneath the operating system, keeping firmware updated is critical for maintaining device security and stability. Question 88. A vulnerability management team is reviewing a report that assigns numerical scores to discovered security flaws to help prioritize remediation efforts. Which of the following is used to quantitatively measure the criticality of each vulnerability? The answer is B. CVSS. CVSS, or Common Vulnerability Scoring System provides a standardized way to assign a numerical score to a vulnerability based on its severity. The score considers factors like exploitability, impact, and the complexity of the attack. Higher scores indicate more critical vulnerabilities, helping security teams prioritize which issues to address first. CVSS is widely used in vulnerability scanning tools and security reports. Question 89. An organization is using a VPN to establish a secure connection between its headquarters and a remote branch office. Which of the following is the VPN primarily protecting? The answer is B. Data in transit. Data in transit refers to data that is actively moving between locations, such as across a network or between endpoints. A VPN encrypts this data while it travels, protecting it from interception or tampering. This ensures that even if network traffic is captured by an attacker, the contents remain unreadable. VPNs are commonly used to secure communications between remote sites or users and a corporate network. Question 90. A security consultant needs secure remote access to a client's internal environment over the Internet. Which of the following should the consultant most likely use to establish a protected connection? The answer is C. IPsec. IPsec, or Internet Protocol Security, is a suite of protocols used to establish secure and encrypted communication over IP networks. It's commonly used in VPNs to ensure confidentiality, integrity, and authentication when connecting to remote environments. For a consultant accessing a client's network remotely, IPsec provides a reliable and secure method to protect the data exchanged during the session. So, did any of these questions give you a tough time? Don't worry if they did. It's all part of the learning process. Luckily, 
Certification Synergy has a wealth of free video content at your disposal. To stay connected with our latest IT learning resources, just give a quick click on the subscribe button. This simple action ensures you are always updated about our newest video releases. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.